short overview and definition. Rosacea is a multifactorial vascular skin disorder characterized by chronic inflammatory processes in which flushing and dilation of the blood vessels occur in the face. This relapsing skin disorder is common and there is no cure. Management is aimed as, at symptom control and avoidance of triggers that cause exacerbations. This recurrent dilation of the vessels results in an inflammatory mediator release, extravasation of inflammatory cells, and the formation of inflammatory papules and postules. Rosacea is a common condition that presents in adulthood. The pathogenesis of this chronic disorder is unknown. Areas affected may include the cheeks, nose, and chin. At times, the entire face may be affected. Rosacea affects 16 million people in the United States. Predisposing factors include a tendency to flush frequently, exposure to heat, cold, or sunlight, consumption of hot or spicy foods and alcoholic beverages. Patients with this condition frequently report flushing or exacerbation of the skin due to heat, hot drinks, spicy foods, sunlight, exercise, alcohol, emotions, or menopausal flushing. A classic case involves an older patient, normally Celtic background like Irish, Scottish, or English, who complains of chronic or small acne-like papules around nose, mouth, and chin. Patients may blush easily. The typical patient is blonde or red-haired and has blue eyes. Three key questions essential to ask in the workup and why. You should ask your patient if they can identify the trigger to the exacerbation. The reason for this is that normally if you can help the patient find the trigger to their rosacea, uh, then they can avoid the trigger and avoid the exacerbation. These triggers may include certain hot and spicy foods, dairy products, chocolates, citrus foods, foods high in histamine, heat, cold, or sunlight, and alcoholic beverages. Two, you should also ask the patient to describe the location and the onset. Was the onset sudden or gradual? This helps the practitioner understand the extent of the exacerbation and provides better information for formulating <clears throat> more informed treatment options. Three, Obtaining a complete drug history is also important. The practitioner should ask the patient if they have taken antibiotics or other medications as well as topical medication, astringents, toner, or new skin pro skincare products. The patient should also be asked about exposure to industrial or, dom or domestic toxins, insect bites, or possible contact with venereal disease or HIV. This is done in an effort to, to find what is causing the patient to have an exacerbation. Top three examination components that must be examined to provide adequate assessment, why, and rationale. Inspection of facial features is probably the most important assessment technique when it comes to rosacea. The practitioner should closely examine the skin focusing on face and scalp. Special attention should also be given to the eyes, eyelids, conjunctiva, and cornea. The practitioner should also check the patient's temperature, pulse, and blood pressure. This will help to rule out any complications and helps narrow down the cost of the presenting symptoms in a patient with a new diagnosis of rosacea. An in-depth eye exam is necessary to exclude complications caused by the condition. A manifestations of ocular rosacea or rosacea keratitis range from minor irritation, foreign body sensation, dryness, and blurry vision to severe ocular surface disruption. Common treatments with expected outcomes. The expected outcome for rosacea patients, regardless of treatment, is to avoid exacerbation and control the condition. Treatments may vary from avoidance of triggers to the use of steroid creams. Pharmaceutical therapy includes tetracycline 500 to 1,000 milligram, milligrams twice to four times daily for two to four weeks. Topical treatments include Metrogel twice daily after cleansing the skin and topical steroid creams may worsen the irritation. Therefore, their use is contraindicated. However, if used, they should only be used on a short time basis. Three priority teaching components addressed with the patient and why. One, the patient should be advised to wash their face with mild soap such as Cetaphil soap daily. The patient should be ca use caution and be aware when coming into contact with new products or environmental risk factors. Two, 
Instruct patients to avoid direct sunlight exposure and to wear protective clothing and hats when outdoors. The practitioner may suggest the use of a sunscreen of SPF 30 when exposed to direct sunlight. 3. Patients should follow up in two weeks to evaluate therapy. The patient should also be seen for monthly evaluation until maintenance is reached.